Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me for another video and to see how I'm getting on with the Rover Mini Cooper Sports Pack project. Now you can also find the channel on Instagram, it's Pocket Rocket Garage and you'll see all the latest updates and photos of the build. Just before we start on the actual car today and to show you where I've got to, I just want to go through some of the parts that have just been delivered. So let's check them out. Now up until now I've been using the normal earplugs. They're really uncomfortable so it was about time I upgraded. Now these ear defenders are from Screwfix and what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description so you can check them out yourself but they are really comfortable. I'll get loads of use out of these especially with the amount of grinding and welding I've still got to do on the car. The next item that I'm going to show you are the 6059 mask filters. Now I've got a 3M mask which is the 7502 model and these fit is straight on. They're way more substantial than the filters I was currently using and already I gave them a quick test, the difference is huge so I think they're well worth the investment again with the amount of grinding and welding that I've still got to do on the car. Some of the smaller other items that I've got is I've got a bigger pot of the Hammerite Crust which is going to go on all the areas that I've already welded and ground down just for a bit of extra protection. I've also got an individual flap disc which I use only for removing paint and that is brilliant. It takes off hardly any surface and only takes away the paint and not the metal. More mouse sanding pads, which again, I need a lot of to do a lot of preparation to the metal work, but the mouse sander has just stopped working, so it looks like I might have to invest in a new one of those. Wire wheel attachments to go in the drill. These are fantastic for taking away any debris, any dirt, seam sealant, all in the corners of the car, and they're really, again, aggressive, so you have to be careful because they do kick on you but definitely worth investing if you're gonna do any body work yourself. If you've got a classic Mini or any other classic car and you're getting rid of rust, get yourself some one mil cutting discs and just cut the rust out and get a fresh piece of metal welded in. It's much easier than grinding it down and putting loads of body filler in it, trust me. Now these come as a packet of 10 in a small tin. I'll put the link up on the description and I truly recommend these, these are brilliant. Here's the last box. Now, it should be panels. So let's open it up and see what we've got. That's one rear closing panel assembly. Here's a new section of the boot floor, which I really need to close that all up. And here is the other rear closing assembly. Not too bad, actually. The metal looks really good and thick. I'm hoping they're gonna be a lot easier than making panels up I can actually just weld these in as best I can and get a nice finish. If you didn't see the sticker, I just wanted to show you these panels are from Magnum. Now they're one of the cheaper options of panels for the Mini, but because they're going in the boot and underneath, I thought, you know, these will be perfect. I'll show you in a bit how I'm getting on and where these are going. Since the last video, one of the biggest things I've done is remove the rear valance. I've used a one mil cutting disc, sliced the majority off, and because it's so rusted and just the welding was blowing through, I thought the best thing I could do is start with a fresh new one.
Using a chisel and a hammer, I'm now removing what's left of the rear valance away from the boot floor skin. I'm just going to grab a cup of tea and then I'll sit down and let you know where I'm at at this stage. Very funny. Thank you. Lovely cuppa. After all that grinding and cutting, I've now got all the main rot out of the boot floor. I'm still in two minds, even though I've just spent all that time separating the three lips at the back of the car, whether I should actually just cut it off, the boot floor lip, and put a repair section in, but then it will absolutely be fresh metal and no rust whatsoever. And also the magnum panel that I showed you on Instagram, so check me out on Instagram if you haven't, isn't that great. I've realised that it hasn't actually got the, the lip on the back of it, it just has got a flange as if you're going to spot weld it to the inside of the back panel. I'll show you what I mean. I'll just grab the panel. Oh, I've just left it over there. I'll tell you what I could do. Shazam! There you go. This flange is actually in the way because if I really want to spot weld that to the inside of the back panel of the car, that's just going to be a, a serious pain. What I want the panel to do is follow through and then will be the back lip where well, the three sections join together that you actually bolt the bumper to. I'll take you into the boot now and show you what I mean. You can see the lip that I was talking about where this is the back of the car so this is the back end panel that's got the return lip on it then you've got the boot floor lip which joins to it that's the second skin and then the third skin is the rear valance which joins it from underneath and then is spot welded through so all three lips join together. Now the magnum panel, for some reason, has actually got a flange all the way around it, as if you would spot weld it on the inside of the car, which is a no-go for me. I'm going to use this panel in other areas, I'll cut it up because it's decent steel, and I'm going to get an M-Machine panel, recommended by a friend on Instagram, and I'm going to put that so it comes all the way through and joins to the top skin. What I might do, and I have to admit, I probably should have done a bit more thinking before I started, is actually cut this rust away and just put in some repair sections along this top skin. And then the underneath skin, which is the boot one again, you can see is already wearing through because it's so thin. I might just cut that away now 
and put a repair section that runs just along the inside here. And it'll run all the way down to the other side. Then that way, all three layers that are on the back end will be fresh metal with no rust on. And if I'm really careful, I might just get away with not actually having to paint the back end of the car. I might have to blow some areas in if I touch it with a weld or like that area there where some welding has come through. A little bit of filler and um, some paint blown across it, you won't really see it because of where it is and where the bumper covers it. But yeah, I've, I'm sort of starting to think that some areas I haven't really thought it through that well and I could have done a bit more forward thinking to get a better finish and make it easier for myself really. I just need to make a small repair to this section on the wheel arch. I'm going to take a piece of metal, hold it in place and draw around it using a marker pen. Then get some tin snips or an angle grinder with a cutting disc and cut round the required shape. I'm using a small piece of copper behind the panel just to soak up some of the heat from the welding. I'm going to tack it in place and just before I do the second tack I'm going to make sure the repair patch is level with the panel. Just like so. Then tack it again and all you've got to do from here is fill in all of the gap with some weld. Once it's fully welded all the way round, you can grind down the excess welds and it's ready for painting. The end of another video today just grinding and welding again today so I know not that exciting but please stick with the channel and please click on the subscribe button if you haven't already big decision to make for the next video do I get on the phone order a huge amount of panels and then just cut out what I've done and start from scratch I am starting to think that would be the best option the initial cost is more expensive but I'm gonna save hours of work and the more rust that I've just cut out, which I haven't shown you, I'm gonna save for the next video because there is still a huge amount of rust coming out of this car. It's quite unbelievable, really, for such a small car to have that much rust. But thanks again for watching, and come back and watch the next one. It's gonna be a big one. See you later.